Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Osprey Stratos 34. Lots of features on it. That's next. Setting up the old chair. Love my chair. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is a really decent day pack. It's a little bigger. Uh, the 34 liters Osprey. This comes in a 24, a 34 as a panel loader, and then it comes in a 36 and a 50 liter as a top loader. They come in a two size. This is a uh, medium large it also comes in a small medium and the small medium is 2.9 pounds the medium large is just a little over three pounds it comes in four different colors this blue right here and an orange one a green one and a black one black's pretty popular I guess the uh, capacity on this is 15 to 35 pounds of capacity to carry uh, 35 pounds seems like quite a bit of weight to carry in a 34 liter day pack but it could be done uh, ultra lighters could probably use this for a, a night or two out uh, because it does have a sleeping bag compartment and uh, removable sleeping pad straps on it so it gives you that little bit of capacity to do that if you have the right gear for uh, ultralight backpacking the 34 does cost $160 on Amazon and on the Osprey website. Sometimes Osprey has uh, discounts or specials, uh, but I think mainly that's $160 because they're adding the integrated rain fly at the bottom here. They're, they actually sell for $35 on their website. So if they remove that, the pack would be about $130 and a $35 backpack. So let's take it from the top here. The very, very top, there is a zippered compartment right back there I got some gloves in here and my phone but that is a mesh and my <laughs> headlight there that is a mesh pocket at the very top with the key holder right there I always like the key holder it's a good feature to have <sighs> and that pocket goes about this deep so that's kind of nice it's a good size pocket Below that, we have the main compartment, dual loop zippers on that. Open up the compression strap here. This is your panel load right here. See that? I like the panel loaders like that. Little polar fleece there. They open up, it's just easy to get at everything that's in your pack. It does have a floor on the bottom right there, and that floor uh, separates it from the sleeping bag compartment uh, which you could obviously use for other things as well if you don't put a sleeping bag in there good size compartment uh, it, and here is the hydration pocket right here with a clip right there for the hydration reservoir to hang on uh, it does have a hole right here the, the, the um, tube the water tube can go out but this hole and I've read other people talking talking about this in reviews is pretty small and there is some frustration about getting the bite valve through here and out the front and they said some people said they actually cut it but I would not recommend cutting it because it might just keep ripping so uh, I think what you have to do is remove the bite valve feed the tube reconnect the bite valve that I think that would be the best way to go about that So just below that, we have another sleeve right here, or a pocket, and that opens up, and I got uh, a few things in here. It's a smaller pocket, but that would still fit. Uh, I, it looks like an electronic. I got an iPhone 7 Plus. So yeah, that fits pretty nicely in there. So that works pretty good. So now we have one, two, three pockets right there, plus, Below that, we have underneath this, uh, like a hood almost, 
some heavy duty Velcro right there. See that? That attaches under there. It gives you, protects that zipper. But here's our vertical zipper. This is a very large pocket right here. Very big pocket. I can get all kinds of things. I got my tea kettle there, teapot, maps, things you want quick access to. Not that I need quick access to a tea kettle all the time. But, and then that goes all the way down to about here. See that? So that's pretty cool. It, it's a z vertical zipper. I'm not sure I, I've liked it, but I'm getting used to it. And I actually kind of like it because it's almost like uh, another version of a panel loader. It just really opens up that whole space to see what's going on as opposed to a little zipper at the top and then this deep, deep pouch here. And you're kind of digging around and looking for things. I think that's why they did that was to make it just easier access. You just don't want some electronics to fall out while it's open. So below that, this is the uh, removable, these are the removable sleeping bag straps, just like a regular top load full backpack. And uh, you could put other things on there, put your rain jacket on there, hang a tripod on there even. And then here is where the sleeping bag compartment. I put my cook kit here because I was making some coffee and got some food. But here's my here's my coffee right there. Folgers crystals. <laughs> Very easy to work with. Just pour it in, pour it in the hot water. You're good to go. So there is the sleeping bag compartment right there. I don't know how big of a sleeping bag would fit in here. It's got to be an ultralight one, I'm guessing. So zip that baby up. Below that, we have the rain fly. There we go. And that is integrated because there's this uh, little notch attached. I guess that's what you call this. Anyways, this detaches like that. And there is your rain cover. Get that on there. Good thing to have when it's raining though. Fits perfectly. Got to like that. Um, if it's a, if you're desert hiking and you know it's not going to rain, well, I guess you got some more capacity right there to work with as far as some extra room. So not a bad thing to have. Uh, on the back here, we also have one ice axe holder right there. And again, I put different. I put a sh snow shovel on there when I'm snowshoeing. I've gone with uh, tripods and uh, things like that. Just kind of whatever you can be creative with that. On the side here, we have water bottle pockets that hold a 32 ounce Nelgen water bottle, and that fits pretty nicely in there. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a little. A little sitting high like that, which I don't like, but this does seem to work. It's got a compression strap on it. There's also a compression strap above that, which what that means is you can put uh, tent poles in here like this and have them strapped in there, or a fly rod, or even a, a small tripod. Uh, anything that's kind of vertical and narrow would fit nicely in there. Obviously, there's one on each side. I put a hat in that one and that works pretty great again more another compression strap there i like these buckles that they have those are uh very nice on the back we have the osprey airspeed back panel super integrated belt right into the back panel super ventilated you gotta like that it's, look at this, it's got about two and a half inches of space right there. There's my hand touching between the back of the pack and the uh, trampoline style mesh there. It does have a metal alloy frame that goes around. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a metal frame right there. And that gives it that support so it's not just a sack, a rucksack. or <laughs> It's got an actual backpack feel to it, which is great. Yeah, easy to adjust. Just take the uh, Velcro. It's really heavy duty on the Velcro. <laughs> but once you remove it, you can slide this thing up or down and get to your torso adjustment exactly where you want it. I tend to go about 
two like that and you're done that's it's really quick big piece of velcro right there and that will adjust this whole harness system it does have some top loader lift loaders at the top here this is how those work see that just pull that and it just takes that upper strap pulls it up gives it a little more comfort there on your shoulders sternum strap right here in the middle adjustable goes up or down like that does have the whistle on it <laughs> Woo! that's loud could come in handy somebody's looking for you or vice versa uh, adjustments here and here obviously to open it up but yeah super super uh, comfortable uh, does have the hip belt pocket right there and I've been testing this with some different things uh, you know I have uh, snacks and it's a great thing for snacks maybe your keys things you want to keep close maybe a bottle of sunscreen could fit in there I found that my iPhone 7 and you obviously can have a different phone but that actually happens to fit it's a little tight it's a little tight in there but look at that and it, it's just kind of the corner you have to kind of push the corner down but there you go you got the uh, phone actually fits right in there uh, I think they updated these I think a few years ago they were small like a pocket more like that and people were frustrated they couldn't put their their phones in, or electronics in there because you know you don't want your phone buried in the back of your pack somewhere you see something you want to take a picture of and you want quick access to your phone obviously so oh we do have the stow and the go trekking pole holders right here these these work great it's attaches to your shoulder harness here and then to the back of the pack the trekking poles go through here and they rest back in here just gives you a little place to uh, put your poles so you don't forget them lose them and you can have your hands free from time to time so very good excellent pack I really like it I'm gonna keep hiking I'm gonna head up towards the peak here that's Jackson Peak in the uh, Sierra Nevada mountains I love it up here okay well I hope that was helpful for you if you're looking for a backpack a day pack it's a pretty good one and uh, thanks for watching if you like what I do hit subscribe like it I appreciate it a lot got a lot more videos coming I did get a new mountain bike I'm gonna be doing some adventures with that I also have a kayak a fishing kayak going to do some trips with that and we'll be uh, doing some other things so thanks for watching we'll see you next time keep hiking